So JBL have just come out with the update for the Charge 3 to enable it to go to Connect Plus. But the question is, <laughs> do you really want to update your Charge 3s from Connect to Connect Plus? Of course, if you want to connect more than two speakers, which is the whole point of Connect Plus, you're going to want to. But you may be someone like me that um, really only uses them in stereo mode. And for reasons that I'm going to explain, uh, my, my advice is uh, do not up, update them. Um, and I'm, I'm going to lay out my reasons for that. But basically it becomes a bit of a nightmare if you use two Charge 3s in stereo currently. So if you do connect, do upgrade them to Connect Plus, of course you will not be able to connect them to Connect enabled speakers such as the Flip 3. You can now connect, connect them to the Flip 4 which you couldn't do before if they're only Connect. So Connect speakers can only connect to Connect and Connect Plus speakers can only connect to other Connect Plus speakers. Connect speakers can only co connect a total of two, Connect Plus a total of 100. So it sounds good on paper. So I'm going to go through what actually happens if you do update it. And first of all, of course, if you're going to update them, first thing you're going to do is turn on the speaker, fire up the JBL app. So the first thing you see when you open up the JBL Connect app is the exclamation mark on your speaker. Click on the exclamation mark, it brings up this little message. You have to slide that across, put a tick in the box to say you fully understand. Uh, then you click on install. Uh, it tells you it's going to take about 15 minutes, which it does. You click OK. Um, it'll say it's upgrading over about 15 minutes. Um, you go away, you come back uh, about 15 minutes later. And it should be just finishing. It will come up with a message when it's done um, to tell you to leave the speaker alone and it will re reboot itself. When it has rebooted itself, you click on done. Then it will start searching for the speaker. And once it's found it, it will come up with the main screen. And hopefully if it's gone right, it will be like that. And no exclamation marks. And it is now upgraded. So you've gone ahead and done that. You've, up you've upgraded them. <laughs> and you're holding your fingers. Uh, you're, you're crossing your fingers to hope for the best that it is um, all for the best. So what is what are you gonna what is gonna be the big difference? Of course the first thing you're gonna do is turn the speakers on and that will be the first difference. So obviously the first thing you do you turn them both on. This is using the old connect so the basic connect turning the speakers on and then you press the JBL connect button and it'll search for another speaker. Then you press the other speaker and it'll search for the two speakers. And when they are actually connected together, you get that sound. Boom. So you know they are now connected. Now, here's the difference using Connect Plus. You come, you turn the speakers on. Even if you had stereo last time, it will now be party mode, not stereo. And then you press the... JBL Connect button, it'll immediately tell you it's on. Immediately tell you it's on, but you don't know if they are connected. So it's now different. When you start up Connect speakers and you have connected them in stereo, you don't have to use the app next time you start up the speakers. Whereas now, you turn on your speakers, you fire up the app, you put the JBL Charge 3s into stereo mode, you, yeah, all right, you play with your music, fine, turn them off, come back sometime later, turn them on again. You've got to put, use the app to turn them back into stereo. So they all automatically come into party mode, no matter what the last mode was that you used. And there lies the big problem. The JBL Connect Plus app is a nightmare to use. The Connect, the basic Connect is okay to use. I mean, it's not the greatest app ever, but it's, it's consistent. It works, whereas Connect Plus is a nightmare. So here is the problem using Connect Plus to go to stereo mode. Every time you try and hit stereo, it comes up with some error or other. You can't connect. You're not close enough. 
sometimes it just loses the second speaker altogether and it says the you connect and close the app and whatever but whatever you do it's eight times out of ten you cannot in my experience get this to go into stereo mode and even when you do the next time you, you've got to start it next time they start up it's forgotten what mode it's in you've got to go back and use the app to go to stereo compare that to using basic connect you hit party mode you go to party you hit stereo goes to stereo it just works and best of all when you start up the flip threes or whatever speaker it is again they remember the mode they're in you don't have to use the app next time so another big difference once you've upgraded you you're into the nightmare of using the connect plus app um, to, if not a problem if you use these in party mode because you won't have to use the app but if you go if you use these mostly in stereo you've now got a problem you then come on <laughs> to another problem the sync issue so when you use the basic connect and you start playing your music it, it, the speakers are already in sync every time you start it's fine there's no delay with connect plus when you press the connect button, obviously there's no automatic sync between the speakers. It seems to happen as you start playing. So there's a big delay between, when I, I mean of a few seconds. So when you start playing your music uh, and you have, when it's for the first time, once it's been playing, it's fine. But each time you restart playing your music, there'll be a few seconds where the speakers will be syncing between each other. They won't, or, will, won't already be synced. So you're gonna, in the first few seconds, you're not going to get all the speakers uh, together. You're going to get the first one that you connected via Bluetooth, and then the others are going to join in. So, this is an example of what I'm what I'm talking about. So that that's a seven second delay using two chance threes, two flip fours, but it's pretty consistent even if I just use two speakers. So you know. That is another problem of upgrading from Connect to Connect Plus. Okay, so now the practical side. Um, you've got a JBL Charge 3, you've got a Flip 3. Um, you're thinking maybe you'll get a Flip 4, or you already have a Flip 4. So you know you currently can connect these two together. You know that if you upgrade your Charge 3 from Connect to Connect Plus, you'll only be able to play these two together so the real question is how does how does the jbl charge 3 and the flip 3 compare to the jbl charge 3 and the flip 4 So it's quite stark the difference. Flip the flip four and the charge three. That is actually a tinny sound. Yes, it's a nice sharp, obvious high end. It's, there's the clarity is there, but I would describe it as tinny, kind of hollow, a little bit missing. Um, whereas the charge three with the flip three, a very dull high end, but more full bodied, a warmer sound. The difference between the two. Is, is quite considerable and you may prefer one o over the other I know which one I prefer but anyway if you to really see the differences uh, this is uh, this is the frequency graphs of the two of the recordings so you really 
do see in the charts what you are hearing in the music. So this is with the Flip 3. And if this is the first song. If I switch to the Flip 4, these big dips all the way along, are, this is what's giving you that, that hollow sound. Yeah, you're getting a sharper high end, um, but you're missing chunks of the music. And in reality, that's, it makes it sound hollow, although it does make it a sound a bit clearer at the high end. If you prefer that, you, you may like it, but I think it's like really destroying the sound. Um, so that's the first song, and that's the flip four. A switch to the second song, exactly the same. There's the flip three, you know, it's reasonably linear. Switch to the flip four. Big dips all the way along. You're missing chunks of the music. Um, yeah, again, you're getting that big boost with the flip four at the end, but missing the chunks. It's, it's a much more solid sounding a little bit warmer with the flip three but with the flip three you don't get the high end that you do with the flip four um but yeah clearly there's a huge difference between uh the charge three with a flip three and the charge three with a flip four the next question is you've now got like in my case so i like playing them in stereo that's always buy them too so i've got the two flip fours i've got the two charge threes now so the question is, how, do, how does this actually sound now when you start playing them together? So you, you know, obviously you could play one charge three on its own, or two, or that way, or that or four. So you've, you, know, you do get a lot of options when you can connect up to 100 speakers. So these are my recordings comparing all of those options.
So it's clear to me, MI is, and look, at the end of the day, it's really subjective. And what you like, you like, and what you don't like, you don't like. From me and my perspective, it's very obvious that <laughs> as soon as you hook up more than one speaker, the, the sound quality is dropping. It's, it, you're getting a hollow sound. Now, you know, it is a lot of fun. It, I can't, I'm not saying it's not a lot of fun playing multiple speakers. And if you really do have a party and you're putting speakers everywhere, it's a great option. But for serious, well, all right, you're not going to use these for serious listening, really. But it, for, you know, an enjoyable listen and you just want to listen to the music, you're not having a party. Comparing any combination to one charge three, it's a big drop in quality. It's no, there's no increase. You're not getting the best of each speaker here. It's clear to me that the, it's, there's something wrong with the sound. It sounds, it definitely sounds hollow and, and less warm. Whatever combination outside of a single charge three. And these are the frequency charts again of all those combinations. So as soon as you go to these charts, it's, you, you can see exactly what you're hearing. You can see that one charge three reasonable upper bass the reasonable the the mids are the, you know the highlight of the chart three but the highs are not great add in the flip four and immediately you're losing your upper bass between the 100 hertz and 300 hertz you get these dips in the mid range but you do add a little bit of a sharper uh, sound at the high end that's about the only place you get the real boost but the actual sound itself is basically destroyed you're getting a hollow nature to the sound because of these dips you're losing the sound you're losing the warmth Two flip fours, same story, big dips. 100 hertz to 300 hertz, you're losing the upper bass, but you've gained some at the high end, but it's not, it's not great to listen to. Two charge threes improves things again, get back some of the upper bass, the dips aren't as bad. Two charge three, two flip fours, you know, n not as bad as uh, one charge three and two flip fours, but again, compared to a single charge three, you've lost your upper bass, you've lost your uh, some of the, the, the mids where, it, where it's dipping go back to the single charge three you see it's much more linear it's just that it's, it's the roll off at the high end is, is uh, steeper but you've got the warmth to the sound which makes it enjoyable um, looking at the, the second song there's a single charge three on its own with the second song you've got your upper bass you've got your warmth to the sound with the mids a bit of a roll off at the high end compared to when you add the flip four you gain that high end but you get these massive dips in the middle of the sound you lose your warmth at the upper bass 100 hertz to 300 hertz and it's the same story with two flip fours chunks missing upper bass missing gain at the high end two charge threes improves it again but compared to one charge three in its own you are missing some of the sound you're missing some of the warmth but you are gaining a louder sound. You're getting something that's more enjoyable. In true party mode fashion, you can put speakers here, there, and everywhere, but it's a different type of listening. So party mode is not going to improve the sound in any way, but it's going to give you more options and it's going to be a lot of fun uh, to play around with several speakers. But if you're thinking about whether she should uh, go to Connect Plus uh, to improve the sound, be able to use it with the, with the newer speakers like the Flip 4, uh, I would say, no, it's not a great idea. So I have to say, <laughs> you know, I've upgraded, I've upgraded, updated, whatever you want to call it, my Charge Threes, and um, <laughs> it was a bad move. So in hindsight, to someone who has yet to make that decision, if you have two Charge Threes and you like playing them in stereo, don't upgrade your Charge Threes to Connect Plus because the sound quality is going to take a drop the the app to use to put them in stereo um, is an, a total nightmare every time you turn them off and turn them back on again you've got to go back into the app to put it back into stereo mode and overall the, the nightmare of having of using them in stereo outweighs the benefits of being able to use multiple speakers and over time you know you probably have a collection of a dozen of these speakers every time they come out with another decent speaker i'll probably buy it but the actual sound quality is not good. It's getting louder, of course. You're adding more speakers, and yes, it is more fun. But for any type of, you know, c kind of serious listening, you, all I'm hearing is the is the de degrading of the sound. So I'm not, I'm not really happy with what I've done. Um, and just so you don't have so much of a decision to make in hindsight, um, I just thought I'd put my my views together personally. It's a nightmare, and who knows? At some point, they may actually 
improve the app. It may actually work for stereo. Now, maybe they'll improve Connect Plus. But at this point in time, <laughs> I've made a big mistake upgrading these chanceries. Um, and thank you for watching. UK.